Okay, the next fidget spinner I have here is my last Magic Shark spinner. This one is called the Magic BMX. And what you've got here is a really unique design. Um, you have a wheel, a round wheel, and then you have, they give you five basically rubber bands that you fit on the outside of the wheel. You take this one here like this and you put it on onto the fidget spinner. So it fits around there really nicely. And then you spin it. And the point is that it gives the uh, it gives you some the rubber band gives you a grip on the thing. It's the first round fidget spinner I've seen that actually works really well because you can get grip on that rubber band. And these five rubber bands say certain things on them. I'll just try to read it. This one must be some kind of Asian thing. I it, this this it looks like it says that. ADI of spinners. I don't know what it might be an ABI. Um, I don't know what that means exactly. And on the other side, it says spinners ADI. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But uh, let's look at the other rubber bands. This one just has a little fire design on it. And this one says Magic Shark. This one says, says superhero on it on both sides. And this one says no smoking. Oh, I better get rid of this. Hold on. That's got to go. All right. So this is the one I'm going to test next. It's a little bit smaller than some of the other Magic Shark ones, so it might not spin quite as long, but we're going to find out. And I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I had a problem testing the uh, Magic BMX. <clears throat> what would happen was I was spinning it at such high velocity with the air hose that the centrifugal force act, you know, from the rubber band would make the rubber band actually expand and fly off the uh, fly off the spinner. So that it didn't really work. Um, so what I figured out was that uh, um, I was the considering testing it without the rubber band on it but then I figured that you know the the rubber band is the main point of this of this uh, spinner without the rubber band it's just a really slick uh, it's gonna be a really slick surface and it's not gonna be very fun to play with because the rubber band kind of makes it grip on your fingers so I figured out that I could, what I could do instead was to uh, uh, reduce the time that I was hitting it with the air I normally do eight seconds, but I figured out that the rubber band would put up with only four seconds of of uh, air of the uh, air blast before it would fly off. So I, what I did was reduce the spin time. So this makes it so you can't really compare this one with the other spinners I've done on spin time because it wasn't getting up to vel a velocity as high as all of the other spinners that I've reviewed. But um, that was the fastest velocity it could get up to without the rubber band flying off. So um, I wish I knew what that velocity was, but I don't know how to how I could measure that. In any case, even though I only gave it four seconds of air, it uh, it still got an average spin time of six minutes and 21 seconds, which is really pretty good. I'm sh very sure that if I could have gone with the maximum air, it would have uh, scored this gone over seven minutes and. Uh, um, it would have been uh, got the highest score there was for spin velocity. On appearance, I gave it a seven. It's not that fantastic looking. It's okay. On um, feel, I gave it a seven point five. I was 
pretty impressed that they came up with a way to make a round spinner easily playable. Most of the others are not. Um, received quality, I gave it an eight. And, uh, over, and so uh, the overall score was a 7.75, which qualifies it as a very good spinner. Not quite in the superior range, but for a round spinner, that's really good. Um, the good one good, really good thing about these is that they uh, they sell pretty cheaply. I can't find a website for Magic Shark. They might have one, but I wasn't able to find it. They do have a Facebook page, however, you can look at them in there. And these sell on eBay from various people selling them on eBay. And uh, the uh, the cheapest one I found was only twenty two ninety nine, and there was were a couple others that were just a few dollars more. So you can pick this one up in the low twenties, and I'd say it's I'd say it's worth it for that. You know, it's a fairly low price, and it uh, is a pretty long spinner, and it's you know in some circumstances this one would be kind of fun to fun to carry around and play with. Plus, you get all these interesting rubber bands to go with it, and a pouch. So this one, uh, I'll give a thumbs up on this. It's uh, more impressive than I thought it would be. All right.